Hello there, have you ever wondered why Lutris doesn't work some of the time? And why you're having issues with Origin, Epic Games and Ubisoft and maybe sometimes good old games is causing you some issues? Well that's because uh, Origin, Epic Games Store, Ubisoft and GOG had some authentication integration issues. So in this video I'm going to show you how to install the new version of Lutris, with that being version 0.5.12 and I'm going to show you the other other methods to install it that don't work and why my video is the best video on the topic. So let's get into it. So as you know Lutris is kind of the hub for running games outside of Steam that are other game stores to get them to work with wine. We all know this, Lutris is rather popular. So, how do we install it? And you'd think it'd just be as easy as, I don't know, sudo apt install Lutris. And you'd be, and you'd be right. But there's, there's a few other prerequisites needed first. So let's go through that. First thing we want to do is we want to update and our, upgrade our system. It's just a simple sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. You do that. Wait for... Canonical to pick itself back up again. And as we can see, no updates here. That is good. Next thing we need to do is we need to install Wine for our system. You're probably thinking, why do I need to install Wine? Because sometimes when installing Lutris, it asks for a few Wine packages that are currently not installed if you don't have Wine installed. So in this case, I'm going to install Wine using my Wine install scripts, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So let's clone the repository. To do that, we just need to make sure where we are. We're currently in the home directory. So we want to do git clone https colon slash slash uh, github.com slash nmat1 slash wine 7.0. This is now going to Clone the repository. We want to cd into that repository. As we can see here, we have a load of wine install scripts. In this particular case, because we are using Ubuntu 22, we are going to pick from one of the three wine 7 Ubuntu 22 install scripts. In this case, because I want to use stable, we will go with stable. So we need to make that executable first. So to do that, we do chmod plus x dot slash w7 u22 hyphen stable dot sh. And now we run the script. We, we need to run it with sudo because there's a few lines in my install scripts that then asks for sudo permissions. So sudo dot w dot slash w7 u22 stable.sh as we can see here this is going to uh, wine hq and asking for the asking for everything as we can see here it's already gone through nothing modified on the server omitting download none of this is done because we've already installed it in a previous video but this is working fine as we can see here we currently have wine version 7.0.1 Jammy, I don't know why they decided to put a tilde in there, but hey ho. So now that we've installed uh, Wine, we need to look at how to install Lutris. Now, the first thing when it comes to installing Lutris would be to just put it into the search engine of choice. In this case, I am just using the great oracle known as Google on how to install Lutris. And if you don't look at Lutris and you look at the other ones, you come across Linux config. Linux Hint and Linux Hint again. And the first in the video recommendations is myself, which I find rather funny considering I'm also doing another video on it. So let's look at uh, linuxconfig.org first, which would be this one. How to install Lutris on Ubuntu, 20.04 in this case, but this, what I'm doing here will work on all supported versions of Ubuntu. What we can see here is it requires we enable a 32-bit architecture, which we've already done. And then this is where they go wrong, because that's not how you install Wine anymore. 
So this is wrong straight off the bat, and it then asks for the PPA, asks you to do it with, with the Lutra's PPA. The Lutra's PPA hasn't been supported for quite a while, and we can tell because this video, this article was written on the 14th of May 2020, and that's not valid anymore. So you'd think with them being the second, they'd be a bit more up to date, but they're not, and that's fine. If we look at Linux Hint five months ago, as we can see here, how do we install Wine uh, on Ubuntu 20.04? Again, not looking at 22.04. It's a bit strange, but as we can see here, it's uh, enabled 32 bit architecture. Again, that's wrong because it's using the wrong Wine key, which again is not how it's done. So we then need to move on to the next one. As we can see here, here's one from two months ago. And it just says, update the system and install Lutris. It's forgetting the key thing. It's forgetting about wine. So let's have a look at how Lutris recommend it. In this case, Lutris just recommends getting the dev package and going from there. So that's what we'll do. We'll then go to here, click this, and we'll go to download. So, CD, CD download. We want to do sudo dpkg. Um, I actually want to do this, as we can see here. Sudo dpkg open i Lutris, as we can see here not installed the available package as we can see here not installed depends on python lxml lxml however is not installed it's not installed is not installed is not installed you'd think that this would be a solved issue but it's not this is a persistent issue this is not also an issue we came across in the last video which i will put up into the top right hand corner now and we'll then move on. So, you're probably wondering, how do I fix this? Well, we install it using the sudo apt get install. So, we don't even need to do apt get, it's just apt install. We want to do sudo apt install Lutris. And as we can see here, it depends on all of these, uh, but it's not going to be installed. So, what are we going to do? We're just going to fix the broken install. So we want to do sudo apt hyphen hyphen fix hyphen broken install. Say yes. And it's going to go through. Make sure everything's right. Download. Just do the usual download. Open up. Set up. Process. The usual. And now we have Lutris. Give a second, as we can see here. Hey, look, missing the Vulkan libraries for the i30, uh, the 32-bit architecture. This may prevent games from running. To install it, please use please follow the following guide. That's fine. As we can see here, where it is, if we do a quick neo fetch. In this case, for the GPU, it's just our virtual graphics card. That may may not work, but. We just click yes, that's there as a warning of this may not work, just fix it for your own sanity. As we can see here, it's just going to wait for the runtime updates. Uh, I can personally say that this is a useful uh, manual page from Lutris on installing drivers, so if you need it, there you are. And as we can see here, here's Lutris. It's as simple as that. The current version of Lutris is 5.12, or 0.5.12 to be precise. As we can see here, that's what we have. So any authentication issues that were occurring on previous versions of Lutris now suddenly go away because it's the updated version. This is the release version and not the pre-release beta version. It's as simple as that. We now have a functional version of Lutris installed. That's it really. Because not many people cover this. You, you'll find that 
this is a rather hidden topic so that's why i make these videos on this now this version well the installing it like this will work on ubuntu versions 20 and 18 and any supported ubuntu version and also debian version anything that uses the apt like package manager this will work 100 this will work because i use this on my own system so this is how to do it anyway i would like to thank you very much for watching if you have made it this far maybe consider hitting the uh, like button if you didn't like the video hit the dislike button you may only able to you may only be able to see the dislike button or the like button but i can see both of them and i can see if you like it or not anyway i have been nick you have been amazing and i hope you have a good rest of your day goodbye